So here we are, day one of our retreat. We're here. What are we gonna do? Huh? <laughs> Let's go. It's Let's dark. Go. Okay, we're going inside. Going in to do our retreat. We get books and um, we're supposed to write our answers to questions. And I was drawing on my book. <clears throat> and then um, my fiance decided to draw on my book too. And it's a snack time. They give you questions. There's like a presentation. And then they give you questions. <clears throat> so like these were our questions yesterday. And um, you just kind of answer them and then you get like 10 minutes by yourself to write down all your answers in your blue book. And then uh, you have to discuss it with your fiance. And then we got asked more questions after that. But it's a lot of like short, short stories and like, then you discuss. Right. What time is it? Adventure time. Yeah. I'm battling a cold, which is awesome. I didn't think I was gonna get sick during this weekend, but oh wow. She I don't know eats what wrong. Is. No, I eat vitamins. I get to eat food. Just because you eat food doesn't mean it's good for you. You have such long breaks in between. You need to find somewhere to eat a snack or something. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. He's drinking coffee. I'm having milky tea. But, yep. We're gonna do more... Couple-y things. Couple-y things. And, uh... I guess I'll take some of that, but for now, we're just up early in the morning because we want to have coffee and then just relax for a bit. And breakfast will start at 8 o'clock. Hey, you're, you're posting this, right? Yeah. Oh, hey, everyone. Tell me. What? Hey, everyone. What? This is Cypher BJD. Cypher BJD. No, I got the BJD. <coughs> Don't do, 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 do. Um, Post in the comments below. And tell Asenva to take her vitamins and eat healthier because she doesn't. That's a lie, I do. No, she's like now. She doesn't. She, she eats so bad. So, make okay, sure to tell her that behind, so she eats better. The story behind my so she eats is better. I get sick like every once in a while and it just randomly comes. And nobody yeah, else in my family sick. gets sick. Randomly sick. Nobody in my family gets sick. It's just me. And then after that's that. That's because she eats bad and doesn't take vitamins. <clears throat> and then after that, everyone does. Because I never am sick when my family gets sick. So they eat healthy and take her vitamins, and she doesn't. So no, they that's don't why. take vitamins. That's my point is that everybody else will get sick, and I never get sick when they're sick. She works with people who are sick. Are her kids? They're always sick. Who are always sick. So she gets sick. But I don't get sick all the time. See, because if I didn't take my vitamins, I'd be sick like every day. But I'm not. So I do take my vitamins. Still got sick? It happens. Not if your immune system's like a rhino, like my mom. She's a nurse. She <clears> never <throat> gets sick. Ever. Your mom's been doing that for years. Immune system like a rhino. Her immune system's already gotten adjusted to it. I've only been doing this for like a year, a year and a half. Rhino. Done deal. Rhino. What? Bye. This is me going to get my fiance some footage. Some epic footage. Because she wants it and she's too sick to move. Well, not too sick to move, she just wants this. There's a squirrel up there in the tree. And she wants to see the squirrel. Oh, there it is. Do a dance. Make a little loon. Get down and out. Get down and out. Do a little dance. There's another one over there. We also took a really cool test. The um, there's a name for it. I can't think of the name right now. There you go. It's the Myers Briggs test. 
and it was really cool. I found out fiance is an ESTP. And um, I'm a ENFP. <clears throat> and this stand for different things. Um, extroverted and think innovative or something and then feeler and then uh, perceptive and then you were supposed to guess what your fiance was and I guessed ESTJ and I was off by one because I thought he was the judging versus the perceptive but he put himself as perceptive and he explained why which was really interesting and he guessed mine right on the first go which was pretty amazing <clears throat> just shows how much he really knows me, which is awesome. Okay. And there's his. And his sloppy handwriting. <laughs> I told him, because we were reading our blue books, I told him he needed to write clearer, because it was hard to, to read his handwriting sometimes. Um, during my break here, and I wanted to go ahead and show some of the uh, footage of my room. Um, this is my roommate's bed. I told her that I wanted the smaller one because I'm used to sleeping like in small little comfortable areas. So, um, she's really nice too because she likes uh, it warm in her room and so do I and so we turned on the heater last night so it was nice and warm. And um, there's like a little desk here. It's out of focus, now it's focused. And uh, there's also um, a little bathroom and a uh, closet here and it's really nice and um yep this is pretty much our room that we're staying in this weekend little couch should have brought a laptop or something that would have been cool to have there but oh well it's my room so this is like the outside we're in um building six the boys are upstairs and the girls are downstairs and um so, it's like a little walk away, and all these other buildings. There's lots of squirrels here for some odd reason. Let's go this way. And, um, it's really nice. See, it's squirrels. <clears throat> yeah, we'll just go straight over there. This is just a scenic route. But they're really cute. They're like little, like, you know, squirrels over there. Buildings. There's a blue jay over there. There's tons of squirrels here. It's really pretty though. Like 300. Like we have a jacket, it's, but it's like 80 degrees or something. <clears throat> I'm of course keeping mine because I don't want to get more sick. And it gets pretty cool at night. There's a squirrel right there. Where? There oh. he goes. So uh, it's really it's a nice. Way down over there. I don't know what that is. St. John something house. That's really pretty though. So we're just on one of our many 15 minute breaks. They have like a session, couples talk, the priest talks, and then they divide us into our couples and then we, um, you know, have a break after that. But it's really nice. This handsome, handsome guy. <clears throat> So, last day, how do you feel? Sleepy. Sleepy? I feel... I learned, like I've learned a lot. Mm -hmm. I've definitely done a lot of stuff. Like, I guess not so much that we could have, we could have done, you know, like in any other setting. But the fact that this retreat set aside that time for us and pushed us to do those answers and questions. You know, they could have just given us a packet and we could have done it on our own time. Yeah. But whether or not we would have done it. So having that time to do all those questions and stuff put aside for it was good. Yep. Well good. I don't yep. Well, we're here for breakfast. We have our juice. I have tea. I made some simply organic, natural, caffeine-free mint. Sometimes we got kind of like 
whiteboard and we were drawing pictures. Did you, uh, so, pack already? Uh-huh. Yeah, he was drawing a horse. And he was like, oh, horse. And I was like, dog nose? He was like, horse nose. And then I tried drawing a horse nose and it didn't look any better. And he was like, I, alien eye? And I was like, no. And then... And then we tried to, started playing the doodle game. And I did like a Lady Gaga eye and then we did this creepy crying face and this dinosaur. And then he gave me this really crazy one that was like with a bunch of weird shapes. The blue ink is what he originally gave me. And I turned it into this like hawk. Like what lies yonder kind of guy. So today, this is our schedule. This is a very small block, but um, it always seems like even though they're small, they do a lot of stuff. We're gonna have breakfast and then we have a sacrament two by two, a third session, closing Eucharist, and departure. So, usually like for each block we have a special couple. Yesterday's block we had a couple, but then they had to leave early. Um, so they weren't here for that second half. Really? Yes, that's why we didn't have... Did you hear them? They had a birthday party or something. Uh -huh. Yeah. What happened? They had a birthday party. A couple left early? Yeah, that, the guy that, and the old guy and the old lady that we liked a lot. Old? You know oh, that? He said it looked yeah, like yeah, Otis. Yeah. Damn, I thought you meant someone who was participating in the tree. <coughs> <coughs> no. Anyway, so no one's here. We've gotten up these past two days at 7, 7.30, and no one's ever here this early except for us. Because we're cool that way. And this is like the little serving area where we eat breakfast. Inside there, you get your hot meals. And on the other side, well, I guess I can take you over there. Let's take you over there. Like there's like stuff to make tea and coffee. And these are all the snacks that people brought. More snacks. Our snacks are over here. Josiah's wish was that, like, nobody ate her snacks, but people actually have been. I'd like to mention that people have eaten more of mine than his. Because mine are awesome. We had some rabbit candy we brought. Mm, coffee, juice. And the cups we're supposed to use. Okay, so we finished. We're done. We're done, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. How do you feel? I feel more like a couple. <laughs> we do feel more like a couple. We I'm tired. Do. We're tired. We are tired. It was it was a long weekend. It was pretty intense, like it was like eight no, it was more than eight hours. The, the certificate says the eight certificate hours. The certificate says eight hours. It yeah. was from like eight to eleven. Every day. So it was way more than eight hours. It was really strenuous, but it was really nice. And um, all the presentations and things like that were fun. So um, can't complain. It was really nice. We learned a lot, actually. We learned a lot. Learned a like, lot of... e even though, like, a lot of the questions were, like, stuff that we, like, just stuff that we could have, like, talked about on our own. Like, it was a good time that was set aside for us to talk about these issues and things like that. And the environment. Everyone was coupled. Everyone was, you know, engaged couples, so it's just... Yeah. It's, it was good. I really liked it. So overall, it was a wonderful, wonderful thing to do if you are engaged and if you're planning on getting married through the church. Like, it's a really good thing to do. And maybe even if you're not, like, planning on getting married through a church, like, it's still real good if, like, you're a Christian and you just kind of want to have some time and, like, you know, be able to meditate on a bunch of things that you'll be going on in your soon-to-be future life together that would be a, an excellent thing for you to do. Right? Good stuff. Bye.